Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Appreciate you guys stopping by. We're just getting fired up out here this morning. Uh, thought I'd give you guys a little shout, make, get a video out this morning, and talk to you guys about what's going on over here at Kim Folk Farm. The gnats are going crazy for one thing. Uh, but what we're doing over here at Kim Folk Farm is we're moving me out. <laughs> I know I sort of put a little clickbaity title. I've done that before. I try not to do that all the time, but it's fun. And uh, yeah, but I'm moving out. I've been running this new schedule, and I know I've heard uh, y'all heard me complain. Let me fix this. I know y'all heard me complain a little bit about this new schedule I got, and I've I've not been on it but a week, and it's already wearing me out. Uh, for the fact that I'm working night shift now, and it's been uh, quite a while since I worked night shift, and. <laughs> The other day, these gnats are going crazy. The other day, I couldn't even, I, I had to lay out of work. I couldn't sleep. It's a whole long story. Uh, I worked uh, all night. I couldn't make it home because <laughs> I kept falling asleep. So I, I stopped and got a cup of coffee to get home. And the coffee had me so wired out when I got in the house, I couldn't go to sleep. I stayed up. It was just a long ordeal. But uh, just driving me nuts. But uh, it's go I get used to it. I've done it before. But uh, it's just hurting me here lately trying to get used to this night shift. But uh, what we're doing is we're moving me out uh, of the big house. For the fact we have kids upstairs, my, all three of my grandkids, they run across the floor. Uh, we have chihuahuas, which everybody knows chihuahuas, they don't bark all that much. But uh, <laughs> we got one that, oh, he barks all the time. And UPS comes over, he starts barking. Uh, but I just can't sleep over there. So we're fortunate enough to have this guest house. When we bought this place, we call it the guest house. When we, when we bought this place, uh, this was here. It was actually a shed uh, for the first owner that owned this uh, property. And he had a, either, I think it was a brother or a brother-in-law or somebody that was moving out or getting a divorce or something. So they closed this in and turned it into a little, uh, you know, we call it the guest house. But whenever we have problems over there, somebody moves over here. My son was living here for a while. Then when my wife, uh, she works at a nursing home when the coronavirus came through the nursing home uh, to quarantine herself, she, we were really fortunate enough to have this. So she stayed over here and when we needed to see her, we'd come out here and hang out out here and she'd sit, she'd sit over there, we'd sit over here, we'd uh, have, have dinner out here. It, was, it's kind of, it turned out to be kind of fun. But now Paw Paw is moving out and I'm moving in here. I wanted to show you guys this little guest house. And uh, y'all see it on a lot of videos because out here is where we raise our ducks and stuff. But y'all see it on a lot of videos, we just don't show the inside. And I haven't even been inside, so I hope it looks presentable. <laughs> so stick around, I'm gonna open the door and we're gonna go inside, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. But remember, this was my <laughs> son's place. So he got his little rock band flags and stuff, but it's not too bad of a little place. It's got a nice little uh, living area over here. It actually has, because it doesn't have central heat and air. Uh, we have a wood burning stove. It works great. My neighbor just told me yesterday, he actually did, we was talking to him, he actually did the stonework. I didn't know that. He was telling me yesterday. But it's got a nice little kitchen. There's the door we just came in. It's got a nice little stove, little kitchen. Super, super little cool place. Got a bathroom. Got everything you need. Not too bad. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys inside. Never done that before. We always show the outside. And uh, I tell you, I'm going to take y'all upstairs. And I know y'all going to say it needs a handrail. We say that every time we come in here. <laughs> every time we come in here, we go, boy, it'd be nice to have a handrail so we didn't fall out of the stairs. But I, I, I would sort of like to one day turn this into an Airbnb so people could come out and stay on the farm with us. I think that would be super fun. I think that would be super, super fun. But we're still on the fence about that because Airbnb ain't just a money maker. There's a lot of work involved with Airbnb too. Uh, and we got both full-time jobs. But that, that'd be a kind of a nice little retirement thing to have this as an Airbnb. But let me show you guys upstairs. One thing we don't like is the stairs. Uh, they're super steep. They're super steep stairs, but that's okay. Up here is a nice little living, little bedroom. So for a single person, this isn't a bad little place. The only thing you don't remember, <laughs> you hit your head every time you come in here, but it's not really all that bad. This is where my son stayed for quite some time. Got air conditioned. This looks right out into the shed where the tractor and all that is. And this looks out into the 
uh, with a chicken coop and muscadines, all our corn that we grew, that second garden, or the third garden where all the deer, and all are right out that window. Really neat little place. The only thing, look at these steps. <laughs> and my wife keeps telling me I need to put some sandpaper tape on these stairs. But like I say, we didn't build this place. It was here when we bought the house or the property, so we're super fortunate with that. But it's, it's nice and quiet. That's what I like. So I can come home, drive here, let everything out real quick in the morning. Let all our ducks and chickens and all that out. Come over here, hop up there, turn the fan on, turn the air conditioner on, and be out. The only thing I think may bother me <laughs> are the geese, because the geese can get loud sometimes. But I really don't think it'd be quite as bad as uh, Mason and Emma running across the, the upstairs. Boom, 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 boom. We hear that. It's pretty funny. We hear that. And then uh, when UPS uh, comes down the driveway, or anybody comes down the driveway, even us, when we come down the driveway, our little chihuahua barks like crazy. He doesn't stop. And, uh, and then Jackson, he'll cry. It's just too much activity going over there. Everybody's waking up, and I'm going down. Uh, so it's just time for change. So we're super fortunate to have this place. I hope you guys like it and leave me some comments below to let me know what you think about an Airbnb. We, uh, we have been yay and nay about an Airbnb since we've had the place. I would love to fix it up. We got to think, my wife, she makes a great point. We got things over there to fix and not have to worry about over here. She says, we got a lot of stuff over there that needs to be fixed before we worry about over here. But, but I think this would be a great little place for an Airbnb. Maybe when we get older, uh, It'd be cool to have some of you guys come down and stay and hang out for a weekend or something. I think that'd be really neat. I love this place. It's really, really neat to have it on the farm and we're really, really fortunate. But guys, just a quick little video letting you know what's going on over here at Kenfolk Farm. We try to keep y'all uh, posted of what's going on. Uh, yeah, I'm moving out. <laughs> I'm moving into the guest house. But uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, do me a favor, click that subscribe, click that like, hit the share button, let, or share this with all your friends. Let everybody know about Kenfolk Farm. I say this every video. But uh, all you guys that are subscribers, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys. When we go live and get to com uh, communicate back and forth, I wish we could talk face to face. But uh, I just, I love you guys to death. I had so much fun interacting with you guys. Y'all just show unbelievable support for me and my grandkids. I just get overwhelmed sometimes. I absolutely love it. I love it. And I love you guys to death. Thank you so much. Wish us luck <laughs> on the move. Like I say, I, I just come over here to sleep and then go back over there and hang out and make my lunch and all that stuff over there. I'm not going to be cooking and stuff. It's not like I'm living over here, but this is just in my new sleeping quarters. <laughs> but guys, love you to death. I'm going to let you go. See you on the next video.